Hi friends, Miss Becker here. Just wanted to check in and show you some new activities that you can do at home. I hope you're doing well. Please let me know if you need anything. Just stay in contact, just to chit chat, send fun pictures, whatever you want to do. All right, I wanted to show you some subtraction games. I know that subtraction can be um, a skill that kindergartners need to practice often just because to, to be fluent with it and just as much exposure as you can because it can be a tricky skill for them. So one game that I found that I wanted to share with you is subtraction bowling. So what I did was I found, I just saved um, some toilet paper rolls. I have five of them here. So you might, this um, activity might need to come in a few days when you can save up some toilet paper rolls. So I, only, I have five here, so I'm gonna start with five toilet paper rolls. So I'm gonna write down my number five because that's how many I'm starting with. So I'm starting with five, write down five here. Now I'm gonna take a ball or anything that you have that you can roll to knock down the um, toilet paper rolls. So I'm just gonna roll it. Oh, I knock down three toilet paper rolls. So I knocked these three down. So I'm gonna write five take away, my take away sign, five take away three, five take away three. And I wanna see how many I have left. So that is equal to one, two, because I have two toilet paper rolls still standing. So that tells me five take away three equals two or five minus three equals two. So I'm practicing subtraction, and as you remember, subtraction means take away. So I'm practicing taking away. All right, so for my next game I wanna show you, it's called Subtraction Smash. So for this game, you're going to need to make some subtraction cards. So I just wrote some subtraction sentences on some pieces of paper, cut them out, super easy. I need a tens frame. So what I did was I just made, um, 10 squares are all kind of equal in a box. So I have, oops, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 squares in one box. So what I did also, I also need Play-Doh. So this one's fun, hopefully you have some at home. I just took some Play-Doh, rolled it up into balls and put them in my tens frame. So for my subtraction sentence, I'm going to start with this one here. So it says eight, take away two. So I start with eight. I have my eight balls in my tens frame all ready to go. And I'm going to take away two. So what I'm going to do is kind of fun. I'm going to smash it. So I smashed two. And I want to see how many I'm left with. How many are not smashed? I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I know eight, take away two equals six can write that on my card or save it for later so you can play this game again. So I have several different cards so I can play it different ways. My next activity I wanna show you, the last one I wanna show you, you're going to need an egg carton. So I have an egg carton. What I do with my carton is I cut off two of the little containers so that it gives me 10. 10 is the magic number in kindergarten. Um, you want to be fluent when counting within 10, with, but subtracting within 10, adding within 10. So 10 is the kindergarten magic number. So I have a 10 um, egg crate here, and you're going to need some kind of small object or candy. I used my favorite candy. I had this one on hand. I had sour gummy worms. So for this activity, I'm going to take my card, my subtraction card. I'm going to start with 10. So I'm going to put 10 gummy worms in my container. I already did that. So I put 10 gummy worms. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now I'm going to take away 5. I'm going to take away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So how many do I have left? I want to count and see how many I have left. I have 1, 2, three, four, five. So I know 10 take away five equals five because I had five left. So I can write that on my card. 10 take away five equals five. 10 minus five equals five. So we're practicing subtraction. Subtraction we're taking away. All right. So that's all I have for you today. Uh, let me know if you need anything. If you have, hopefully you have some of these supplies at home. I try to keep it as simple as possible. Um, I hope to see and talk to you soon. Bye.